So there's one more episode left until the worst setup edition, aka the potato edition of Setup Wars, which is everyone's favorite. But if you guys remember, I think a few weeks ago I said that I was going to do something completely different than the usual worst setup edition. So basically I'm going to be doing a roast my setup kind of theme with the episode. Obviously for fun, none of it should be taken seriously, it's just for entertainment. And people who submit their setups actually want to participate in the roast my setup. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be posting the people's setup on my Twitter account and I want you guys to reply with your worst roast ever. I want you guys to go ham on these setups and maybe I'll feature your tweet or your comment in the episode. So I think it's going to be fun just to change things up. Obviously technology with spice, that is the motto of TechSource. I like to constantly change things up. But anyways, I'm done rambling. Welcome to Setup Wars episode 119. Let the Setup Wars begin. Kicking off the episode and our underwear as well is Alex and his crazy battle station. It's about time we saw another amazing black and blue setup. It's actually a custom built desk that was designed by him in CAD with cable management in mind. Even the table legs were custom designed to be perfectly ergonomic to his body. Very impressive. So he's rocking three ASUS 24 inch monitors that are resting on his custom made monitor riser. You guys might be wondering where his PC is and I bet you my channel TechSource that you'll never figure out what he did with it. We'll get into that later though. On the desk he's got the Corsair Strafe RGB and the Logitech G602 but he does have a wireless keyboard as well when he wants to watch TV from his bed. But check out the speaker placement. Looks like he hooked up his Harman Kardon sound sticks on the IKEA capital eggs. It's not even sitting on a shelf. I'm not exactly sure how he did that but that looks pretty cool. Okay, so the cable management is where it gets interesting. So check this out guys, not only did he hide all the cables behind his desk, but he even crammed his PC in here. The desk he is using is actually the case for his PC. I haven't seen a setup quite like this before, that's pretty hilarious. If you guys look closely, the motherboard actually has standoff screws installed on it, so it's not just laying inside there, so I will give him props for that. I don't know, I mean personally I would build a good looking PC and put that on top of the desk, but I get that sometimes you want a clean look without a giant rectangular case taking up the space on the desk. Aside from the Harman Kardon sound sticks, he has a pair of M50Xs and the wireless H600 headset from Logitech, which he uses with his wireless keyboard if he wants to watch TV from his bed. I can't help but notice that his entire room is so clean. There isn't any crap on the floor, the trash bin is empty, his bed is actually made. I mean he really did put an effort to clean up his room and set up before taking pics and I can definitely appreciate that. I feel like the only thing that can make this setup even more awesome is a new paint job. I feel like the wood color is throwing everything off. Personally I would paint it either black or pick up some black carbon fiber skins to cover up the surface. But it's up to you, an awesome setup indeed, thank you for entering. Toning it down a bit we got Gavin and a more simple gaming setup featuring the IKEA mom desk. He's rocking a 27 inch monitor from Samsung and the Philco Magis Touch keyboard and the Logitech G403 wireless mouse. I actually had to look up his keyboard and I found out that it costs $200. $200 for a wireless gaming keyboard. That is insane. And it looks like the only audio source he's got are the Atom Audio Artist 5 monitor speakers. The funniest thing about this setup is the chair. I mean, I'm expecting someone who's rocking a $200 keyboard to have something maybe a little fancier. Then again, the ergonomics of that chair looks amazing and it kind of matches the water-cooled PC. So this is Project Tiny and it's rocking a 7700K and an EVGA GTX 1080 Founders Edition with 16 gigs of RAM. This thing has so much power in such a tiny space. And finally, we got everyone's favorite part, the cable management, which is pretty much flawless. Excellent work here, I have no complaints. There isn't any personality or a specific color scheme, and he's pretty much using a janky chair. But you know what? The setup works, and he's done a really great job organizing everything. Something tells me that Gavin is the type of guy who cares more about the gear he is using than its actual appearance or color scheme. But then again, that chair is kind of going against whatever I just said. But anyways, well done on your setup. Thank you for entering. Up next is Jesse and his quad display setup featuring three 27-inch AOC monitors and a Vizio TV as an overhead display. Jesse was so determined to make all three monitors fit on his IKEA add-on unit 
that he even put up some 3D printed blocks near the edges to help support it. That is definitely an interesting approach. He even went as far as to paint them in white so it doesn't stand out as much. The desk he is using consists of three separate IKEA Lemon tabletops that he connected together with two Alex drawers underneath the main setup. Now I don't know how tall you are but for me personally there wouldn't be any leg room down there. Look how close both of the drawers are together. Now Jesse if you're watching this and you really need that extra leg room then I strongly recommend you to follow this simple modification. Okay so remove the back corner leg of the two side tables you have and move over both of your Alex drawers so that half of it is supporting the side table and the other half is still under the main tabletop. This way you get more space in the middle without affecting any support. He does have a black and green color scheme and what better gear to go with than the Razer Black Widow Chroma and the Ouroboros mouse with a Goliathus extended mouse pad. Keeping with the Razer theme we got the Man of War gaming headset and the Razer Saren USB microphone. He also has quite the console collection, he's got a PS4 Pro, an Xbox One which I'm assuming because he does have an Xbox controller and the HTC Vive to keep him entertained. And of course we can't forget his Razer themed PC rocking an MSI GTX 1080 and a 6700K with a stock heatsink. Cable management can easily be improved by using a cable box to hide the power strip and even some 3M tape to mount those power bricks underneath the table instead of having them just hang down like that. With some minor tweaks you can definitely improve this pretty sweet gaming setup. Thank you Jesse for entering. Next up is Jesse. Uh, once again it looks like, actually no this is a different Jesse. But we're changing things up from the PC Master Race and we are taking a look at yet another clean Mac setup. Powering the setup is the late 2011 27 inch iMac and sandwiching that he's got two KRK Rocket speakers. Jesse realized he didn't have space on his desk and I'm guessing he didn't want to drill holes in his wall either so instead he picked up these speaker stands and placed them next to his desk. And I gotta say guys, it looks super clean. Guys, remember the last episode I was actually talking about putting speakers on speaker stands next to your setup? Well, this is the perfect example. Speaking of clean, he decided to stick with the Apple wireless keyboard, but he upgraded his mouse to the MX Master. I'm not sure what mouse pad he is using, but it looks very comfortable and even comes with a wrist rest. Keeping the setup from looking plain, he did add some stuff on the add-on unit, like a silver skull, a plant, and the popular IKEA lamp with an RGB bulb. Cable management looks pretty good, it looks like he hooked up the Signum against the back portion of the desk, and he even used some velcro to keep the wires together. Not a bad job. He even squeezed in a USB hub underneath the add-on unit and hooked up the wall raceway to cover up the cables from the iMac. A very clean and organizing productivity setup. Thank you Jesse number two for entering. Wrapping up the episode and putting our underwear back on is Jojo and his black and red setup. He's rocking the Acer 27 inch monitor and the Corsair K70 keyboard with the M65 Pro RGB mouse. I get that you want to stick with Corsair gear but the yellow border on the extended mouse pad kind of goes against the whole color scheme. Oh look, he's even using the same speakers as me, the Edifier E25s which are absolute beast speakers. It's resting on a monitor riser that he made using 4 capital legs from Ikea and under the riser he's got quite a few tech. The original PS4 console, an 8TB backup external hard drive from Seagate and a 7 port USB hub. In addition to the speakers, he's also got the Corsair Void wireless gaming headset. What's interesting about this setup is where the TV is mounted. I'm not sure if that's more comfortable for him or what, but it's interesting that he didn't mount it above his monitor like everyone else. I just think that the long mounting arm looks bizarre and it's definitely out of place, but hey, if it's working out, then more power to you. He does have a 2015 MacBook Pro that he uses for work, but the main PC that's powering the setup has a 6600K and an RX 480 from XFX. It's a good looking PC and I like the fact that you skinned one of your SSDs with carbon fiber, but why did you leave the other one alone? Cable management seems to be under control for the most part, the Signum is holding up majority of the cables and then we got this strange looking power strip that's also hooked up against the table using some 3M tape. Okay so the color scheme isn't as consistent as I would have liked and I feel like it's a simple fix for you. Adding some black and red skins to your MacBook Pro and PS4 will give it more consistency but again this is your setup 
not mine. It's a pretty solid gaming setup aside from a few minor things, thank you Jojo for entering. So that is it for this episode of Setup Wars, as always make sure you guys drop your comments down below and vote on who you think has the best desk setup. As always, I'll announce the winners on my Twitter and Instafail accounts. Make sure to follow me there if you guys want to. I love your nose hairs. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.